Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to be here with you today to discuss my new plant-based diet. Yes, that's right. About two years ago, I went on the Paleo Autoimmune Diet and I did the Paleo for the last two years, but recently I've made a huge switch in my life from the very low carb diet of the Paleo Autoimmune Diet to the very high carb diet of the plant-based nutrition diet. And this video is going to be kind of a chatty video to tell you why I made the switch from a very high meat diet to a plant-based diet. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in having the healthiest second half ever, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great too. Okay, to tell you about my radical eating change that started about two months ago, I have to go back to two years ago when I went on the Paleo Autoimmune Diet. And as those of you who watch my channel know, up until two years ago, I was a vegan or a vegetarian, mostly vegetarian. I wasn't that strict about it and I would have cheese sometimes, but I had the remnants of some arthritis pain and I kept hearing that the Paleo Autoimmune Diet really lessened the inflammation in your body and really helped with autoimmune disorders like arthritis. So it was very tough going from vegetarian to meat eater because I really don't like killing animals, sorry. And I don't want this to become a political discussion, by the way. These are just my views and everybody is welcome to their own views. And if you eat and love meat, I did at 1.2. In fact, the whole time on the paleo diet, I totally enjoy that. And there are all kinds of opinions on the benefits of plant-based versus paleo. And, you know, feel free to share your opinions below, but I really don't want this to become kind of a war zone. I just want it to be sharing with you why I decided to go to the plant-based diet. Okay, going back two years ago, I got on the paleo autoimmune and immediately started eating a lot of bacon cheeseburgers. I love them. Salad with full fat blue cheese, lots of olive oil, lots of cheese. I did eat some plant-based stuff, but mostly to me, it was like a bacon cheeseburger diet and I absolutely loved it. There's a restaurant in town, I think it's called Red Robin, I think it's a national chain, but you could get this fabulous bacon cheeseburger wrapped in lettuce, love that. So anyway, I really enjoyed that way of eating. But about a year ago, I started watching this channel called Chris Beat Cancer, and it is a fantastic channel, and I will link it for you below. But basically, Chris is a young man who, when he was about 26 years old, he got stage three colon cancer, and he did have that cut out, and the doctors recommended chemo and radiation to keep him alive. But he started doing some research and the more research he did, the more he felt and believed. And the studies that he found showed that a plant-based diet can kill cancer. Now, I'm not saying that's true for everyone and everyone has to make their own decision about what they want to do in terms of their own health. But on his channel, not only did we learn what he ate to cure his cancer, but he probably interviewed maybe 75, 100 people who had cured various types of their own cancers using a plant-based diet. And I tend to get into phases on things. And so I went through probably a three month phase where that was all I was looking at on YouTube is Chris Beat Cancer videos of all these people who had been healed of actually various different diseases, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, thyroid issues, pretty much the full gamut of lifestyle related diseases. And I always thought if I ever get cancer, I'm going to go plant-based because I saw all of these people healing from it. In fact, I must've thought that I would need it someday because Chris offers the Square One Healing Cancer Coaching Program. And this is the nuts and bolts of what he did to cure his cancer. And I ordered this and it was over a hundred dollars, but I ordered it, read it, and then just put it in my bookshelf thinking maybe someday I would need this. I recently read something that said one in two of us will get cancer. So it's realistic to think it is a possibility. So anyway, fast forward to a couple of months ago, and you may remember a video where I discussed the fact that one of my friends had developed breast cancer. Well, my friend is doing fine and she's going through her treatments and whatever, but she asked me my opinion on what I thought she should eat. And I said, Gayla, I don't have any idea what she should eat and you should talk to your doctor about that. But in terms of me, I would go on a plant-based diet, but I told her about crispy cancer so she could do her own research. Well, and I always say that God doesn't give bad gifts. And I thought, Lord, where is the gift in my good friend getting cancer? And not that that's in any way, shape or form a good thing, although my friend is doing very well. But one thing that it did is that it prompted me and my husband to change our eating habits. If I really believe that a plant-based diet would cure cancer, then instead of eating my bacon cheeseburgers every night, if that's such a great diet, why don't I just go on it now in hopes of never getting cancer? 
And also at the same time, my husband has suffered from high cholesterol for years and he's been on a statin. And one of the things that statins can do as a side effect is that they can eat your muscle. And he had been getting these tremendous painful Charlie horses in his legs, so much so that he would jump out of bed in the middle of the night in excruciating pain and he would be up for like 20 minutes and he could not get his muscles to calm down. And the next day he would actually have bruises where his muscles were. So we started being worried about him staying on that statin. So in light of the videos that I'd seen on Chris beat cancer and in light of my husband's wanting to lower his cholesterol, I thought, let's go plant-based. And in the second half, I think it's very important for us all to do our research to determine what diet is the healthiest for us. And I'm going to give you links below this video to two different documentaries. One of them is called Forks Over Knives, and it's filled with actual research studies that basically show that in parts of the world where they eat a lot of animal products, beef, chicken, fish, cheese, dairy products, that the cancer rates are much, much higher. So if you're interested, I would totally recommend you check out Forks Over Knives. And another documentary, which is very good, is called What the Health? And it basically goes through the advantages of a plant-based diet, and it talks about politically in our country why it is very difficult to get that good information out because there are very strong food lobbies in this country that don't want us to have the information that maybe meat and dairy are not that good for us. And if you're interested in reading a few books about the subject, the first one, I really like this book, is Chris B. Cancer's book on that same topic. It is wonderful. It's a great read and is packed with wonderful information. And the second book that I would recommend is this Engine 2 cookbook, and it is filled with plant-based recipes. It has a lot of pictures, and I really love that. And they're very simple recipes, which with my busy schedule, I need simple. Now, if you'd like to see a video about what I eat in a day, then please ask that in the comments below because I would love to do that for you. But let me take just a moment and show you a couple of the things that we've added to our diet which make it easy and which I really enjoy. Now, the first thing we added to our diet, and it's really been helpful in terms of the ease of preparation, is a veggie bowl. And basically how it works is that on Sunday afternoon, I go to Aldi's, and actually Aldi's is a fabulous place to get organic food. And if you'd like a video on the benefits of Aldi's, because they are incredible, then I'd be glad to do that for you as well. Just ask in the comment section below. But basically on Sunday afternoons, I go to Aldi's and I get many, many vegetables and fruits and my brown rice and different kinds of beans. And then I come home and I chop them all up and my refrigerator ends up filled with individual Tupperwares with different kinds of vegetables in it. And basically I have this in the refrigerator and every night for three or four nights, Alan and I might eat a veggie bowl or I'll make something else, but we'll have that veggie bowl for lunches or anything along the way. So it is actually very simple. But here's a look at the veggie bowl. In fact, I just made this one for my lunch today but it's brown rice and garbanzo beans and carrots and red peppers and cilantro. And I also used a little bit of canned pineapple to give it some sweetness. And then Aldi's has this wonderful sauce called Thai peanut sauce. And I pour that over the top and it is really good. And I'll show you one other dish that I've made. And this is the vegetarian chili. And here it is. It kind of looks like a veggie soup, I have to admit, but it has a lot of chili seasonings in it and my husband has it with crackers. I'm gluten-free and I don't eat that many crackers. But anyway, that chili is just wonderful. But I normally make a double batch and we can eat that for several nights, which is very handy. And on my channel, I really hope to provide useful information for all of us in our second half. And of course, I'll never give up hair and makeup and that kind of thing. But I think whenever I can share a little bit of health information with you, I really want to do that because we want to avoid in our second half diabetes, heart disease, cancer, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. And if we can do that without medications and do that with food, to let food be our medicine, then all the better. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, including healthful food, then I hope you'll subscribe. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from these Language of Letting Go cards from Melody Beatty. And let's see what God wants us to think about for today. Assuming financial responsibility. Assuming financial responsibility. Good one. Today I will repair and restore my money-related issues. I will not allow others to hurt me financially, and I will take responsibility for any matters that I've created. I will ask God to help me with the details of my financial life, and I will trust that everything will work out in the best way possible. 
Oh friends, I absolutely love this card and it is so true. It's like our life is a three-legged stool. I guess physical health would be one, emotional happiness would be another one, and financial stability is super important too. And I have to admit that especially with a YouTube channel, there are times when I buy too much stuff. Lately, I've been thinking my house is filled with stuff, my closet is filled with stuff, this room, I, I wish you could see it, it is very filled with stuff, and I really know that having more stuff doesn't make me that much happier. So what I've been trying to do is on a daily basis, I've been trying to be more careful about what I spend and say, do I really need that? So friends, just for today, let's look at our finances carefully. Every time we bring out that wallet to swipe that debit card or that charge card, although I just have a debit card because I spend too much money with a charge card, every time we go to make a purchase, let's ask ourselves, do we really need that? Or can we walk away and be happy with what we have? Take care. See you next time.